Given the success that the horror genre has been enjoying in the games industry in recent years, it's no surprise that the list of developers and publishers looking to get their piece of the pie is continuing to expand. And while the majority of them do tend to go with single-player experiences, there are also quite a few, encouraged by the success of Dead by Daylight, that have tried their hand at multiplayer experiences. Gun Interactive has had some experience with that in the past with Friday the 13th, the game. And though that didn't exactly go the way that they'd hoped, the publisher has its fingers crossed that the upcoming Sumo Digital developed multiplayer horror game, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, will fare much better. Due out on August 18th, the game is not that far away from launch now, and ahead of its release, here, we're going to talk about a few key details that you should know about. Story and Setup As a multiplayer-centric experience, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is obviously not going to be too bothered with the narrative side of things, but what exactly is its basic story premise? The game will feature a number of killer characters as well as many of their victims, with Anna Flores being one of a handful in the latter group. The central premise revolves around the victim characters searching for Maria Flores, Anna's missing sister. Gameplay Premise The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is promising an asymmetrical multiplayer experience, something that Dead by Daylight fans will be more than familiar with, and there's plenty of other familiar stuff that'll go hand in hand with its core premise. Victim characters will be tasked with sneaking their way through maps, avoiding traps, and ultimately escaping alive, while killer characters will conversely have to ensure that they find and kill all the victims before they can escape. Interestingly, however, one thing that does promise to set the game apart from its competition, at least on paper, is that it's going to be a 4v3 game, with three killers working together to hunt down the victims, rather than the 4v1 affair Dead by Daylight players will be used to. Killer characters will also be tasked with collecting blood for the all-seeing NPC character named Grandpa, who will continuously become more useful to you as you bring him more blood. Blood can not only be found scattered across the map, but will also be gained through interactions with the victims. Killer Characters The Texas Chainsaw Massacre will let players play as one of a handful of killer characters, all members of the Slaughter family. At launch, the game will feature five options in this area. Three of these will be plenty familiar to fans of the property, or even the genre. Those being Leatherface, The Cook, and The Hitchhiker, with Kane Hodder and Edwin Neal reprising their roles as Leatherface and The Hitchhiker respectively. In addition, the game will also feature two family characters who will be completely new introductions for the franchise. Victim Characters on the other hand, the victim characters that players will be playing as in Texas Chainsaw Massacre will all be completely new characters created just for the game. The five options available to players will be Anna, Leland, Sunny, Connie, and Julie. As you'd expect, not only will all five have their own unique personalities and backstories, they will also offer different things when it comes to gameplay. Family Abilities Coming to the actual moment-to-moment -moment gameplay aspects, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre will, of course, offer varying abilities and other attributes depending on who you're playing as. For instance, each killer in the family will have a unique ability. The Cook Seek ability will allow you to focus your hearing to listen for particularly noisy victims and pinpoint their locations. The Hitchhiker's Trap ability will let you place traps made of bones anywhere on the map, alerting you as soon as someone stepped onto one. Leatherface's maim ability will let you whip out your chainsaw and use it however you wish. Johnny's hunt ability will allow you to see and track fresh footprints made by victims. And finally, Sissy's bane ability will let you craft poisons. The poisons can not only be used against victims, but can also contaminate various items and objects scattered throughout the map. Family Attributes In addition to abilities, each family member will also have their own unique attributes that will change the gameplay experience in a variety of ways. Attributes will fall into one of three categories, Endurance, which covers stamina drain and recharge rate, Savagery, which will determine how much damage you do with your melee attacks, and Harvesting, which determines how much blood you collect for Grandpa from victim interactions. Players will be able to tailor their playstyle how they see fit by gaining attribute points and using them in a persistent skill tree to upgrade, whichever of the three categories they wish. In addition to attributes, skill trees will also cover a number of perks. Family Characteristics 
Finally, all family characters will also have unique characteristics that, in addition to abilities and attributes, will further change up your experience depending on which killer you're playing as. The cook will be able to close crawl spaces and add additional locks to doors. Leatherface will be able to destroy crawl spaces, barricades, and doors using his chainsaw. The Hitchhiker is a fast-moving character and, in addition to having high endurance, can easily slip through gaps in crawl spaces. Sissy can do that as well and can also utilize hiding spots to get the jump on victims, while Johnny can instantly barge doors and close crawl spaces. Victim Abilities Similar to family characters, victims will also have their own unique abilities and attributes. Where abilities are concerned, each character will offer different advantages. Connie can use her focused ability to quickly pick locks without using a lockpick tool, at the cost of stamina and close proximity warnings for killers. Julie can activate her ultimate escape ability to prevent killers from tracking her while she sprints with reduced stamina drain for a short window. Anna's Pain is Nothing ability significantly reduces any damage taken from attacks and falls. Sunny's Heightened Sense ability can be activated to detect nearby sounds, track movements, and pinpoint locations. And finally, Leland's Lifesaver ability can be used to bump charge a family member to temporarily stun them. Victim Attributes Victims will have a wider range of attributes than family characters. With five categories in total, these will include Stealth, which as the name suggests will cover your ability to do things without making too much noise, Strength, which will cover stun durations for sneak attacks and close quarter grapples, Toughness, which will determine how much damage you can take before being incapacitated and what your recovery time will be, Proficiency, which will determine how effective you are at completing skilled tasks, such as lockpicking and Endurance, which will cover your stamina and stamina regeneration. Like with family characters, you will also be able to upgrade victims' attributes by investing points in the skill tree. Crossplay The Texas Chainsaw Massacre will feature support for crossplay and cross-platform progression, but being a cross-gen game, that will come with some caveats. While full cross-progression is supported across PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC, that will not be the case for those playing on PS4 or Xbox One. Game Pass Publisher Gun Interactive has also announced that when the Texas Chainsaw Massacre launches on August 18th for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, it will also be available via Game Pass on Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Hey, did you know that we at Gaming Bolt upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell, and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.